We were talking about with the process of processing foods, stripping all of those nutrients out of there to a certain degree. You get that when you do juicing, you're certainly eliminating the fiber there. So yep. um, if somebody wanted to do a, say a juice fast or something like that, what effect mm -hmm. would that juice, even if it's just freshly squeezed orange juice have mm -hmm. on a person's blood glucose compared to eating the orange itself? Great question. So when you take a whole food like an orange and you juice it and you get rid of predominantly fiber, you are losing a little bit of vitamin, mineral, antioxidant, you know, and phytochemical content because a lot of that gets sort of like pulled out with the fiber, but you're retaining a good portion of it. Does that mean it's bad for you? And the answer is, well, it's not ideal because, you know, losing the fiber causes the glucose and the fructose from that orange juice to get absorbed relatively quickly. So it's not ideal. What I would say is that if you are going to juice and drink juices during the day, my suggestion would be to do it predominantly from vegetables. You know, people refer to them as green juices. Okay, you take your kales and your broccolis and your uh, cucumbers and red peppers and um, non-starchy vegetables. You put them through a blender and you end up with actually a very tasty, you know, beverage. Usually has a green color. You drink it and because it's predominantly made from vegetables, what that means is that the total glucose and fructose quantity is very small. So you can drink those types of juices as all day long every day, and they're likely not going to cause your blood glucose to do funny things simply because they just don't have that much to begin with. The minute you add something like a carrot or an orange or an apple or a mango or papaya, right? You are now increasing the total amount of glucose and fructose inside of that juice which again would be totally fine if you were eating the entire food, but because it's in the juiced version and it's being stripped of fiber, it tends to be just a little bit more problematic. Is Cyrus saying you can never juice anything? My answer is no. You, If you wanna have small amounts of fruit inside of your juice, you can do that, but just be real careful. The second thing I would do is I would eat, I would drink it very slowly. You know, like literally one juice could be drank over the course of like 30 to 60 minutes. And finally, the last thing I'll say is if you're going to do that, then please be sure to be eating other foods at the same time that do have fiber in them. I really want you to think about fiber as being a break. Fiber is a break and it slows everything down. And that is a good thing for you. So if the fiber is not in the juice, then make sure the fiber is in the food that you're eating and the presence of that fiber can slow down the absorption of the juice.